High fashion me mercenary, um, putting someone like me and what I do in the fashion arena. That juxtaposition is what they find interesting. In front, you know. We're a nice guy. Yeah, just a nice guy. Yeah. Rock and roll. This is Tony Sheena, owner of Mosaic Security, a private military company that provides elite forces level security for their clients. I was personally training the Kurdish you know, Special Forces commanders and it's a fight you know, against ISIS and we spent time on the front lines. Disturbing new allegations about the use of chemical weapons from Tony Skiana was there. He's a private military contractor working in Iraq. No, no, no fatalities, but there were, um, I mean, the lesions and, and burns were, uh, as you can see in those photographs, were pretty horrific. Skiana says he was escorted to the front lines by the head of Kurdish intelligence. He met with a combat medic, whom he says pleaded for help. This is a mercenary, this is high fashion, how do we put it together? No, it's this guy happens to do what he does and now we're putting him in a high fashion shoot. <laughs> Action! Wow, that's a bill. The land was going to be, what did you do this time, Antoine? <laughs> shoot with Antoine Verglas, which is um, a high fashion shoot with a mercenary in it. Hello. Hi, Tony. Hi, Hi Tara. How are you? Hi, I'm good, Tony. Thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it much. You're very welcome. Thank you. It's, uh, <clears throat> and I had, I had uh, intimate knowledge of that because the Russian oligarch Berezovsky um, was a target uh, for Putin and Really, on the on the probably his number one enemy because he he attempted a coup of Russia. Oh, um, yeah, that that'd be wonderful. Let's actually. bring in Tony Sheena, an expert on counterterrorism and for, former covert operations and special forces trainer. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks, John. Does it all sound plausible? Uh, Berezovsky was Putin's number one enemy, and Litvinenko was tasked to assassinate Berezovsky. He was a great enemy of Putin's government, and at one stage wanted to you know, overthrow an, an attempted coup on the Russian government, and that's how he became Putin's number one enemy. Polonium-210 was the radioactive poison used, and it does leave breadcrumbs, which uh, apparently leads all the way back to the Kremlin. I always say, if you're in the crosshairs of really any intelligence organization on this planet, your days are numbered. Let's use... Uh, Beautiful. Wow, perfect. Okay. Inside edition sauce. Okay. You gotta know, I'm feeling loved, made it go, I never loved another one, another you. It's got me, I travel a lot, but it seems so. Uh, so stupid compared to what he experienced and the, and the people he meets and, and the danger that, he, that he's facing all the time. You know, it's like, it's fascinating. I would read his memoirs. <laughs> know, Broke some stuff. Yes. <laughs> Didn't kill anybody. There were weapons. I know, boring day for you. You might as well flash me, but it's okay. <laughs> I said I